Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. As you guys know, I've been playing my Nintendo Switch and I absolutely love it. I play it on the go and take it with me everywhere. Now there's a lot of bad info right now on the internet about the Switch battery and how charging it on the go really works, so I hope this video clears up some of the confusion. Now all the info I'm about to give you has been verified by myself on my own Switch and a huge shout out to good sites like Enantech who has published a very nice article on the battery specifics and I'll put a link to their article which I enjoyed in the link below. Okay, let's jump right in. The power AC adapter that comes with the Switch has a high power rating of 15 volts at 2.6 amps. So times those numbers together and you get 39 watts of power. But you have to keep in mind that this is for the dock, which has to charge not only the Switch and the Joy-Cons, but potentially up to three USB connections, which could be charging Pro Controllers, grips, and other stuff. And it also has to have the extra power from the HDMI output. So this is not the requirement for a mobile pack. It's not 39 watts of power. Instead, the rough figure of power consumption for the Switch when it's undocked is around 9 watts and charging in sleep mode up to about 12 watts. So the sweet spot for a mobile power brick is 5 volts at 2 amps for the ability to play and not lose battery at all. In fact, you might even gain a few percentage every 10 minutes or so. Or 5 volts at 2.4 amps for optimal charging even in sleep mode. Luckily, there are several options for you within this range. Now, to give you an idea of the real-world results of what I've been seeing, with 5 volts at 2.4 amps, while playing Zelda and charging at the same time in a very crowded area with lots of stuff going on, I saw a positive 3% charge every 10 minutes I was playing. And if I put the unit into sleep mode, I got a full 7% charge every 10 minutes. And again, I also tested it with and with Wi-Fi on and off in airplane mode, and it didn't make any difference. So whatever they're doing with the Switch is very smart. So you don't have to worry about throwing it into Wi-Fi off or anything like that when you're charging. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with power ratings, here's just a few things to put them into perspective. The stock iPhone charger, which is pretty small, is only 5 volts at 1 amp. So it's not enough to charge the Switch despite being a plug-in option. USB outlets on your computer are even worse, generally at 5 volts at 0.5 amps, so only 2.5 watts of power. An iPad wall charger is about 10 to 12 watts of power, so it's more than enough to power the switch while you're playing. So if you have one around the house, there's really not a need to buy a second AC adapter if you're only using it to charge it outside the house in an undock situation. Of course, for mobile power bricks, you have to keep in mind that no matter how good the brand is, for a range of different technical reasons, the power efficiency is about 60 to 65%. That means to charge the 4,310 battery of the Switch fully, you'll need a battery pack that is roughly 6,000. Now personally, and I'm not being paid by them to say this, this is just me telling you what I enjoy using, is the Anchor Power Core Plus. I use the one that is 20,100 power, which because once you consider in the uh, power efficiency, it's enough to charge it like three full times on the go. And I really like that. And of course, you know, when you're putting power into one of your devices, whether it's your switch or your phone, you're gonna wanna go with a company with a good reputation that has good build quality and quality assurance. And Anchor is definitely one of them. One of the cool things about the Anchor Power Core Plus and a lot of other, I think, batteries in this range is that it can charge multiple devices all at the same time at full power. Also, one thing to note is that either you can use the USB-A to USB-C or the USB-C to USB-C, and it doesn't really matter because both will supply 5 volts at 2.4 amps, at least with this charger. Anyways, I hope this video helps. Again, anything that is 5 volts at 2 amps will be enough to power your switch without losing power as you play on the go. And 5 volts at 2.4 amps is definitely the sweet spot that I recommend that you go for. Until next time, happy switch playing.